we are all doing well. Good. We are going to continue with our prepositions in literacy. The last time we spoke about prepositions. And what did we say prepositions are? We said they are words that tell us the positions of what? Nouns or what? Or pronouns. Is that also good? I also said they tell us the location of something. They also tell us the relationship between a verb and nouns or what? Or pronouns. And what were some of the prepositions we spoke about? We spoke about um, we also spoke about in, near, under. Good. So let's look at these four prepositions on the board. We have on, we have in, near, and under. So we are going to use these four prepositions here and form sentences. Now let's take on. I can say the book is on the table. So where is the position of the book? The book is on the table. Good. Now let's go to our in. Let's use in. I can also say my apple is in the bowl. My apple is in the bowl. Where is the position of the apple? In the bowl. So my in has been used. Now we have near. Near. We can say, Ama is near the car. Where is Ama? Where can you locate Ama? Ama is near the car. So we have also used uh, near. Now let's use the last one here, which is under. So we can say, the goat is under the tree. The goat is under the tree. So a preposition there indicating the position of the goat is what? Under. Under. So we have the goat is under the tree. Now we'll go and see in our book and identify some of the prepositions they have used in some sentences. Okay, so from the book, we have a boy here. We have a door here. They are all what? Nouns. Now what do you have to say about the boy and the door? We can say, the boy is standing near a door. So the preposition there is what? Near. You see, near has been underlined. So that is the preposition there. Now let's go to the next picture. We have a box and a ball. Now let's look at the preposition used there. We say what? The ball is in the box. So the preposition there is in. The position of the ball is in. The ball is in the box. Now let's go to our next picture. What objects do we have there? We have a table and a book. What is the relationship between the table and the book? So we have, the book is on the table. The book is on the table. So the preposition there is on. Now let's come to our next picture. We have a tree and a dog. And what are they saying? They are saying the dog is resting under the tree. So the preposition there is under, under. Very good. Now let's go to the next picture. We have a bowl and a table. So what can you say about the bowl? The position of the bowl. We say the bowl is under the table. And our next picture says the spoon is in the bowl. So if I ask you where is the spoon, you say the spoon is in the bowl. So the spoon is here, the bowl is here. Where can we locate the spoon? The spoon is in the bowl. Very now, other prepositions we have not spoken about or seen in the book are we have beside, beside, beside. We also have up. Good. We also have down. Good. Then we also have at. So these are also prepositions. But as we go on, we'll learn more and more of the preposition. This brings us to the end of our lesson. Please.
Stay safe at home. Always remember to wash your hands. Bye.